Merry Christmas, and welcome to, uh, to worship, welcome to First Lutheran. It is a joy to, uh, to have us together uh, once again. We begin with our Christmas Eve litany. Gracious and generous God, on this, day, on this day we celebrate the coming of Jesus Christ, your Son, yourself, in human form. We celebrate the Son of God. We are transfixed by the story of Jesus. We looked for a warrior. We looked for royalty. We looked for power. We looked among rulers and politicians. We looked for military victory. We looked for riches. We looked for a king. We worship Jesus, the humble hero of God's redemption story. May we become more sensitive to the themes of that story. May we recognize our part in the story. May we grow even more like Jesus and live the light of his presence and example. Amen. O come all ye faithful.
to be the Holy Trinity, one God who sends the word with angels, who is made flesh among all peoples, and who breathes peace on all the earth. Amen. In Christ, we are bold to name our sin and cry out for peace. Holy God, we confess our sin before you. We replace compassion with competition. We seek what is mighty while ignoring the meek. We are quick to anger, but slow to forgive. We have not put on love in harmony with you. Wrap us in the grace of your powerful word. Swaddle our hearts with your peace, that all we do, in word or deed, may reflect your love born among us. Amen. I bring you good news of great joy for all the people. God has come among us in the child born of Mary, Christ the Lord. In Christ, your sins are forgiven, and you are clothed in peace. Amen. This night we hear that Christ is born from the one who is and who was and who is to come, and from Jesus Christ, the firstborn of the dead, grace and peace be with you all. We'll sing together, I am so glad, each Christmas Eve, ELW 271. Let us pray. Almighty God, you made this holy night shine with the brightness of the true light. Grant that here on earth we may walk in the light of Jesus' presence and in the last day wake to the brightness of his glory. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.
found his sweet hair. The stars in the bright sky looked down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. The cattle are lowing, the baby awakes, but little Lord Jesus, no crying he makes. I love you, Lord Jesus, look down where he lay from the sky and stay by my cradle. Till morning is night. Be near me, Lord Jesus, I ask you to stay close by me forever and love me, I pray. Bless all the dear children in your tender and fit us for heaven to live with you Some children see him lily white, the baby Jesus born this night. Some people see him lily white with dresses soft and fair. Some people see him bronzed and brown, the Lord of heaven to earth come down. Some children see him bronzed and brown with dark and heavy air. Some children see him all men died, 
the Savior whom we kneel beside. Some children see him all the night. With skin of golden hue. Some children see him dark as they sweet Mary son to whom we pray some children see him dark as they and all they love him too The children in each different place will see their baby Jesus' face light theirs but bright with heavenly glaze and filled with holy light. Oh, lay aside each earthly thing and with thy heart as offering come worship now the end and gain tis love that's born Tonight, tis love that's born tonight. piety and worldly passions, and in the present age to live lives that are self-controlled, upright, and godly, while we wait for the blessed hope and the manifestation of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. It is he it is who gave himself for us that we might redeem, he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify for himself a people of his own, who are zealous for good deeds. Here ends the reading.
Our gospel lesson this Christmas Eve comes from Luke, the second chapter. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house of the family of David. He went to be registered with Mary to whom he was engaged and who was experienced, who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son, wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone all around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angel had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what the, had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all that they had heard, all that they had seen, as it had been told them. The Gospel of our Lord. I invite any of the young people out there who are willing to come forward to come forward. Thank you for your bravery in coming up. Um, Merry Christmas. So one of the biggest things about Christmas, and I don't know if it's the same for you as it is for me. Can you guess what it is? You don't get as much as presents. It is presents. Yeah. And, and uh, it is still... Uh, exciting for even someone my age to get presents. However, is it more important to give presents or to get presents? What do you think? To give presents. Yeah. And what do you think? Is it more important to give presents to someone who has everything or someone that has nothing? What do you think? Yeah, uh, we're called to share out of our abundance, um, and that means if we've got plenty, 
to help those who don't have plenty, and so it is to, to share with those in need. I have a Christmas challenge for you today. Um, I'm going to give you each a gift, but the gift isn't for you. It's for you to give to someone that you may know that maybe doesn't have a lot. So you could, with your family, go to the grocery store and buy some food and donate it to the food pantry. Or you could uh, give it to a neighbor who you know maybe doesn't have a lot. You could buy something and give it to a friend at school who may not get as many presents as you get. All right? Uh, so I'm going to give you each some money, but remember, it's not for you. It's for you and your family uh, to give to someone else. All right? Do you understand? And if you're up here with your siblings, it's probably not, you know, you give it to your brother and your brother gives it back to you. <laughs> That's probably not going to do it, okay? All right. So, um, if you come here on your way back, I'll give you some money. And it's $10 a piece that you give to someone else, all right? There was another little guy up here. Uh, since that person was so brave to come up, you know, we can't, we can't neglect that either. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. As soon as the angels saw the shepherds, the first words that came out of their mouths were, Do not be afraid. For see, I bring you good news of great joy. What news of great joy did these angels have for the shepherds and for all humanity that night that would make them not be afraid. You see, we live our lives with these, this baggage around our necks, kind of like you can imagine bricks and chains. These things that we do that um, bust up our relationships with one another, these things that we do that throughout life we wish we hadn't done. And as they stack up and we reach the end of life, you can imagine the worry that comes when one thinks to themselves, God, have I done enough? Have I done enough that that you will welcome me to a heavenly home. You see, remember, these shepherds were of the Jewish faith, and their works, their righteousness, 
is that which gave them the promise of salvation. But this night in the city of David, in a town called Bethlehem, there was a change in the world that brought forth the angel's message. Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy. Have you ever thought how in the English language um, there are these words that can have completely different meanings but the same word? When I say crib to you, um, what probably comes to mind is this box-shaped thing with spindles or, or rods that hold an infant. But if you happen to raise farm animals, you may know that a crib is also that which you feed the animals out of. Two very different meanings to the very same word. How does that happen? In our gospel lesson tonight, we hear these words. While they were there, the time came for Mary to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. Manger, an English word that someone has chosen to take the place of the original Greek word that is there. But interesting enough, that Greek word is thotni, which literally in its first meaning means animal trough, crib, and it was in that crib that Mary laid her baby. The other word that's interesting tonight is because there was no place for them in the inn. The word inn in Greek is a kataluma, which in its literal translation means the place where you lay down your baggage. Isn't that interesting? That before Jesus, there was no place to lay down your baggage. But after the birth of Christ, we get the invitation to lay down the baggage, those stones we have hanging around our necks at the feet of the crib that holds the Christ. Because it is through this gift of Jesus that um, we are given the offering of forgiveness. The offering that after we visit that crib, we walk away forgiven, unburdened, free from the mistakes that have held us back. Because you see, that crib which held the Christ also holds the holy meal. Jesus' body and blood, which is shed and given, for why? For the forgiveness of sin. And so it is on this night. The angels come to us and they say, Do not be afraid, for see, I bring you good news of great joy. Tonight, you get to bring your baggage and leave it at the foot of the crib. Because tonight, Jesus is born. Tonight, God gives you the gift of forgiveness. And we walk away without the chains and the boulders and all of that which hold us back. And we are promised that there will be a day when we will greet that Savior face to face. Until then, 
we seek to live out what these young people have told me they're going to live out. They're going to give from the abundance that they've been given to those neighbors in need who may not have enough. Amen. Let us sing together, Your Little Ones, Dear Lord, 286. We come now to our time of offering. Everything that we have uh, from our very breaths uh, to the world that has been created is a gift from God. And one of the ways uh, that we give back to God is through our offering. Uh, that may be through times and talents that we have to share. It may also be through our financial resources. Um, one of the ways to provide an offering is to give to the work of this church um, in God's world. There are a number of ways that you can do that. There are a few offering plates in the back. If you'd like to share an offering of your time or your talents or your financial resources, um, you can do so by getting in touch with our church office um, or giving online. In the bleak midwinter, I see moon made moan. Earth stood hard as iron, water like a stone. Snow on snow had fallen snow on snow on snow in the bleak midwinter long long ago Angel 
angels and archangels may have gathered there. Cherubim and seraphim rising in the air. All the holy Mary in her made bliss worship the beloved with a mother's kiss. Heaven cannot hold him, nor can earth sustain. Heaven and earth shall fall away when he comes to reign. What then can I give him, empty as I am? If I were a shepherd, I would bring a lamb. If I were a wise man I would do my part what then can I give him I must give my heart I must give my heart. Sing together, go tell it on the mountain, ELW number 290.
Let us pray. Gracious God, your word made flesh brings harmony to the earth. As we offer ourselves and these your gifts, prepare us to receive the grace and truth you offer at this table and renew us in the song of your salvation in Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Joining our voices with the heavenly hosts and Christians throughout time and space, let us pray for the church, the world, and all who are in need. Love proclaims that a Savior has been born to us. Inspire your church throughout the world to proclaim the good news of Jesus' birth to all who seek salvation, hope, and new life. Merciful God, receive our prayer. Love whispers to a weary world that the time for rest and restoration has come. Maintain healthy cycles of wake and sleep for all creatures, where light pollution disrupts natural rhythms, encourage new practices. Merciful God, receive our prayer. Love cries into a warring world that the time for peace is at hand. Direct those in power who make decisions on behalf of others, that they nurture and sustain all that is healthy, good, and holy. Merciful God, receive our prayer. Love sings through the wails of a newborn baby. Respond to all who cry out in pain, despair, or need this night, especially Lori Roots, Bob Gardner, the father of Kathy Favor, Merwin Ling, father of Kathy Sawa, and all who are in our hearts and minds. Bring comfort to those for whom separation, grief, or loss makes the Christmas season especially difficult. Merciful God, receive our prayer. Love murmurs words of comfort to a newborn child and exhausted parents. Bless new and expectant parents or caregivers, especially those who are alone or afraid this night. Pour out your love upon families of every kind. Merciful God, receive our prayer. God's ever-present love is proclaimed through the faithful who came before us. We give you thanks for Mary, for John the baptizer, for Elizabeth, his mother, Joseph, the dreamer, and all who point towards your love, all those who have gone before us, this day especially Wanda Johnson's family. Merciful God, receive our prayer. Rejoicing in your word made flesh among us, we commend these prayers to you, confident of your grace and love made known to us in Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Rejoice, for God is with us, Emmanuel. In the darkness of our world shines God's holy light. Now, now there is a reason to hope, to love, to laugh, to live. God is truly with us. We are not alone. The ushers will bring the lights to you. Uh, if you could remember to dip the unlit candle into the lit candle, that would be great. They'll come down the aisle, and then they'll go up to the balcony.
In the quiet of the night, a woman gives birth, a personal act of faith, accepting God's charge upon her. In the quiet of the night, a husband becomes a father, a personal act of faith, accepting God's charge upon him. In the quiet of the night, a baby breathes the air, a personal act of sacrifice. God steps out of the divine into the world for us. In the quiet of the night, we accept the gift, a personal act of faith, receiving God's charge upon us. In the quiet of the night, we are changed forever by our God and Savior, Christ Jesus, our Lord, who is God with us now and forever. In the, In the quiet, quiet of, of the, the night, night, we have, have heard, heard God's, God's truth, a personal word of life given for our, our redemption. redemption. In the quiet of the night, we are called to act. We are called to care. We are called to share a personal story of Christmas, a personal story of salvation. In the quiet of this night, God sends us to be living faith, a personal invitation, a personal voice of hope, a personal hand of service in our day-to-day acts, in our day-to-day relationships. May God grant that it be so. Amen. We'll sing together Silent Night, ELW 281. you would all raise your candles for our blessing. The God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing so that we may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit through Christ Jesus, the word made flesh. Amen. Amen. We sing together, angels we have heard on high.
Christ is born, go tell it on the mountain and everywhere. Thanks be to God.